675 PA. Uh, I will turn to you first, Ms. Shavik. Um, Your Honor, I have not received anything from the city of Sultan regarding their witness list or um, their subpoenas. They haven't subpoenaed anyone that I'm aware of. I haven't gotten anything from her. She has three witnesses. She's called the, she's brought this case. This is today's trial confirmation date. Today's trial confirmation. The city did not issue subpoenas um, prior to this date. Ms. Chadwick is aware of the witnesses as they were provided in discovery and noted on previous trial confirmations. However, the city's belief was that this case would not be ready to go to trial. We received notice from Madam Clerk that late yesterday afternoon, Ms. Chadwick filed a notice to continue this trial. And the city does not have any objection. The uh, basis for that is that the city is aware that there are ongoing pretrial issues, specifically Ms. Shablett and my office will be in front of the scheduled period of court this afternoon on the appellate issue of your ruling on the motion to counsel. Therefore, knowing that there were pretrial issues and there was no way this case could proceed to trial next week, the city did not issue subpoenas. Uh, again, Ms. Shablett is aware of our witnesses uh, that have been in discovery and provided on uh, other trial confirmation uh, documents, but uh, we have, uh, there are still pretrial matters uh, that are ongoing in this case, um, and we did not believe that uh, we would be confirming the trial. And as evident by Ms. Shavlet's filing of this motion to continue late yesterday afternoon, she's in agreement with that position. I don't have any pleading. Um, Your Honor, I would like to reserve my, um, my, that she is not going to speak for me. Well, that, that's what I was about to ask you because I don't she, have any pleadings of your motion she, to continue. Okay, first of all, she says that she claimed I'm aware of the witnesses. I want to be very explicit. I am not aware of the witnesses. She has not filed a witness list. And I went through extensive files, maybe over, uh, I want to say five to 7,000 pages of documents. I have not ever seen her witness list. And she says that she uh, turned over discovery. However, um, she has not. Um, she did not provide the pictures um, that were provided in uh, case number 22441. I'm finding out that there was photograph evidence from Noel Grimes. She did not turn over the Brady information for Noel Grimes. Um, Noel Grimes uh, testified in front of her that she uh, got a new job from the city of Edmonds because she had better employment. We found out she was fired for uh, that behavior. Um, that was never turned over. Um, so there's lots of things that she hasn't turned over to be uh, to help me be able to have the documents that I need to do um, information. And I, it is true that I filed an appeal um, because I believe that you violated my rights to an attorney, a signed attorney. Um, when you did this order on um, her response, you took, you allowed Daniel Ehrlich to be uh, dismissed from a appointed attorney for me, but you did not reappoint a new attorney, and then you waited two more weeks, and then you said that you were going to give me my warning, but in the law, under 3.1, it says that you're supposed to do that warning prior to taking away my attorney. So, yes, I did file an appeal, and there is a, a hearing today in Skagit County, and she also told the judge in Skagit County uh, that I would be called first so that I could get, be released and go get ready for my other trial at one or hearing at one. So that didn't happen either. Okay. So let's, let's, you are to appear in another court. So let's use this time wisely. I'm going to, first of all, let me do two things. Number one, we're not going to be discussing discovery issues at this time. All right. Okay. Because yeah. you have the right to bring up any discovery issues that you see fit in terms of the city not satisfying their discovery obligations as set forth in the court rules, okay? We are not gonna be rewinding back my rulings because that is going to be reserved 
for you to discuss before the Skagit County judge. You, you have to appear very soon at one o'clock. I have here a request, well, a proposed order based on what I'm anticipating because this is what it says, a motion to for continuance. Today's hearing is for the court to determine where the parties are in terms of being ready for trial. That is the trial date that's on the peace setting notice. Um, are you confirming the case for trial today, Ms. Shadley? And then I'll turn to the city on the same question. Um, I heard her say that she's not ready. I'm saying that if she is ready and she doesn't have a witness list, um, well then I'm prepared to turn in my witness list because I have it. You can file your witness list at any time that you so wish. And, and I see there is a filing labeled supplemental witness list demand for jury trial. Um, and I also have a table of exhibits that I need to attach to that. But I never received any table of exhibits from her. Okay. I don't want to duplicate the documents that if she, they're bringing this case against me, okay? And I feel that their evidence may be used by me. I may be using the same thing or the same witnesses. I feel that her duty and her obligation is to provide me that information so that I can be through it and say, okay, well, this is a duplicate. Why don't we share this exhibit? Or the same thing with the witness. You, you make a, a, a good point, Ms. Shavlik, in a sense that even though this is an adversarial system, okay, I expect, and there is an expectation in general, that the two parties talk, right? Can we, uh, are you gonna be doing this exhibit because so am I, so let's save paper, let's uh, think about environmentally conscious, let's do that. So that's a good point, but that is a discussion to be saved for later, to be saved in terms of you two getting together. Well, from today, the let, me, let me wind up and say, what is the party's, what are the party's position regarding the trial date? Are you ready? to go to trial on the jury trial date that is presently set on the case setting. Yes. You are. So yes. you're are you so there's a proposed order. So are yes. you withdrawing this motion? Because I'm not withdrawing it. That you 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 told me you're not continuing it. Um, you took away my attorney. Um, I prepared that motion to continue based on the fact that she's not provided me any discovery. And um, the discovery that she did give me, I let her know, and she knows, that there's photographic evidence that she has not turned over to me. There's also Brady material she hasn't turned over to me. And when I go to ask her for stuff, she makes statements like uh, the one that she said, she claimed, I'm aware. All right. So unless she works with me, and we can become aware together, um, I I. I mean, so, Ms. Shadlick, what I'm hearing is that you believe you are ready to go to trial on the jury trial date, but at the same time, you believe that the city has evidence that they have not turned over to you that they're supposed to turn over. So that is a motion. That is a motion that is not going to be argued this morning. That is a motion, a type of motion, discovery motion, should be argued at a motion stage. The court needs to put it on a separate calendar so that I have time to hear what your arguments are and what your arguments are. And I asked them okay. yesterday for a date, and they said you canceled the hearing next Monday. So there's no court. I have to mow up a hearing for that, Ms. Shepard. So if you are going to confirm for trial and you anticipate to argue a discovery motion, is that what I'm hearing? I, well, she, she's, um, her, some of her witnesses are in Florida. She hasn't prepared any documents. I do plan on calling the witnesses if she's not. So, um, if she doesn't have any subpoenas filed, how is there witnesses against me? I'm not going to call all the witnesses against myself. That's not something I'm going to do. Today, a uh, jury trial date is scheduled presently uh, for June 15th. That yeah. is June 4th. June 4th? June 4th. June 1st is what I have, I believe, is the trial date. 
There are no motions next Monday as that is the June 4th is the beginning of the jury term. Is that the jury trial date? Looking at the cap June June 1st, excuse me. Thank you. Uh, look, there's no motions calendar next Monday as that is the uh, memorial holiday. Uh, city would be prepared, but in light of the court order that pre-trial motions must be done a week in advance of trial, the city simply believes it's not practical to go forward on the first, uh, as clearly there are uh, issues. We uh, have not seen Ms. Shadow's witness list, and there will, as she is currently representing herself, there will need to be subpoenas issued. So uh, as much as the city could go forward next week, uh, with uh, Jolene Jovi and Noelle Grimes for trial. Uh, we don't believe that, based on the representations in her filings, that uh, Ms. Shavlik would be fully prepared. And based on Ms. Shavlik's uh, appellate history for uh, purposes of the record, we simply have concerns about going forward when she's raised all these concerns. Let me phrase it this way, Ms. Shavlik. What I'm hearing is that there are issues that must be resolved before this case is ready to be brought for jury trial. I understand that you're confirming, but I, those issues that you just raised and the city mentioned cannot be heard in time to have the jury trial on June the first. Okay, oh, those issues order cannot be in your witness list then. Hang on a second. Let me summary. complete the record. Those issues, okay, cannot be heard on the day of the trial because we have three days. So I'm not going to confirm this ultimately for a jury trial. Now, if you, I'm not going to issue any order today that pertains to pretrial issues in terms of discovery, et cetera, okay? Um, if you wish to put this on a motion to be heard on witness list discovery, get a motion state. I can even special set this case, recognizing it, it, both parties have to be available um, on a special set. Who do I contact for a special set? My clerk, she will give you who? Available dates and times. Erin? Erin. Okay. So if I give you a get her information? You can, as soon as I'm done with your case, okay. you can go around and she can give you your, the information while I take care okay. of your case. Okay. Well, Your Honor, I do have to bring something up as far as time. Um, I will be gone July and August, and so that the next possible time for me to be here, it would be um, the dates of September 23rd or September 30th or October 7th. Okay. So we will um, put that on the docket that you've indicated today that if you're unavailable in July and August and that you're available dates in September. Um, parties, and it's good practice actually, um, should uh, make the court aware by pleadings that you can follow. Yeah, I wasn't aware I would be going that far out. I, that's just a suggestion oh. for the future. Okay. So would you set the new trial date? I case setting notice will be entered today. Um, well, July and August. Um, Due to scheduling issues, you are not going to be available. What, what is the first September date that you will be available? The 23rd. 23rd. Yeah, that's a Friday, which is, we're not going to set jury confirmation uh, trial date um, 23rd. So that 27th is the first, right? Okay, the 27th. So September 27th at 9 o'clock. What's the city's position on those requested dates? Uh, no objection. Okay. Fine. Good cause, good period. And then October 5th is your jury term. So 5th, 6th, and 7th, right? Madam Clerk, are those correct? Okay. The 5th, 6th, and 7th is Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. October? Yes. So here's the case setting notice that reflects those dates. Okay. Now, 
I would suggest that since you gave some unavailable periods of time, that any pretrial motions that you bring it should be brought in June, okay? So that that all of that gets taken care of. So that come September, we're all going to be ready to move this case forward. All right. Okay. There's your case setting notice. You can. Uh, converse with my clerk with respect to um, her contact information to get special set dates. Thank you. Uh, Council, yes. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Stephen Borgia, 